Hi there, I'm Trevor and welcome to TH Terrain and Painting. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this lovely looking wargaming hill for your tabletop. This hill is a step up from my previous video, Making Hills Part 1, and in this we add a bit more texture to the uh, hill and add some more flock to it. But if you want to know how to make the basic shapes, please check out the Making Hills Part 1 video. A link should appear somewhere here and that'll tell you how to cut the shapes out and make the basic hill shape before you add the texture and paint to it. So, when you're ready, get your tools ready and let's get to work. In this tutorial, I'm going to use one of the hill pieces I made in a previous video. I'm going to use some ready-made filler to create texture with a paintbrush with stiff bristles. Using a brush, paint the filler onto the polystyrene. This will create a bit of texture once it's dry, which can be painted. One of the difficulties with painting white onto white is that it can be extremely difficult to see where you've already painted. A solution for this is to add a small amount of paint to the ready-made filler. Give it a quick mix and now I have a brown coloured filler. Also, for this task, I would advise not using your best paintbrush. Try and use an old or inexpensive brush that you don't mind giving a bit of abuse. Now, as you can see, contrasted against the whiteness of the hill, the paint coloured filler is now much easier to see. The hill could be left as it is, but as you can see, the brush strokes are very obvious, and on this occasion, that's not the look I'm going for. So to hide the brush strokes, I'm going to use my paintbrush in a stippling motion to blur out those brush strokes. This is why I recommend using a stiff brush, as the soft bristles will not have the desired effect. Once the filler dries, it'll become hard, give the polystyrene a bit more of a protective outer shell. So, this is the piece I textured using ready-made filler, and as you can see, it looks quite nice. The brown paint added to the fillers created a nice light brown colour. I could leave this as it is and start playing with it right away. But for this tutorial, I'm going to give it a coat of paint and do a bit of dry brushing and then add some flock. For the base coat, I'm going to use some burnt umber acrylic paint. I'll just put some onto my palette and get on with the first layer. Now that's completely covered in paint, I'll just leave it to dry. So now the paint is dry, I'm ready to move on to the next stage, which is dry brushing. I've included a link to a dry brushing tutorial in the description below. So if you've never done any dry brushing before or don't feel confident just getting stuck in, then check out that video first before moving on any further. For the dry brushing, I'm going to use two paints, yellow ochre followed by buff titanium. Firstly, what I'm going to do is put a small amount of yellow ochre onto my brush then wipe off most of the paint and then I'm going to dry brush all the way around the hill. The idea behind this is to try and pick up all the rough texture that was created with the application of the ready-made filler. In some areas you can see I've gone a bit too heavy and added more paint than I wanted to. But that's fine. When it comes to flocking the hill I can just make sure that area is hidden underneath all the flock. That's the first dry brush colour done. Now I'll move on to the buff titanium, which I'll use as my final highlight. Unlike the yellow ochre layer, this is going to be a bit more lighter of my coverage. The idea is just to pick up the more raised areas of the hill. Yeah. 
I'm happy with how this looks. Now I'll just leave it to dry before adding some flock. Now the paint is completely dry, it's ready for some flock. For housekeeping purposes, I'm going to put down a piece of paper to catch all the unused flock and to protect the surface from any glue spills. My PVA glue is a thin down mix of 50% water, 50% glue. This is a good consistency for the application of flock. I'm going to try and create a patchy hill, so I'm going to add some glue in a large area here, a bit over here, and a bit coming down here. Now I've added the glue, I can add the flock by sprinkling it on the hill, making sure everything is covered. Now that the hill is covered in flock, I'll just leave it to dry. Now the glue is dry, I can tap off the excess flock and clear it away. Here is the completed hill. As you can see, it has grass covered areas and barren areas of dirt. Give it a more realistic hill look. And now it's ready for the tabletop. I hope you enjoyed watching this hill tutorial and have learned some new skills to help you build your own terrain. For more advanced techniques on making hills, then please check out my other videos. If you have any other suggestions on tutorials you would like to see, then please let me know in the comments below. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified when new videos are uploaded. So thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.